Disney's blockbuster movie Frozen is now out on DVD, and more than three million copies were sold on its first day of release on Tuesday. It's also Amazon's top-selling kids DVD of all time. Well, Frozen is the first Disney animation production directed by a woman, Jennifer Lee, and we sat down with her at Columbia University, where she went to film school. One of the headlines called you Disney's new animation queen. Like it? <laughs> <laughs> that my whole family's laughing at that. I'm like the most disheveled, uh, <laughs> uh, you know, <laughs> kind of scattered queen. No. Jennifer Lee may not be Disney's newest queen, but she can claim its latest royal success, Frozen. Let it go. Oscar-winning animated film about two sisters who grow apart as they grow up. What are you so afraid of? I said, After writing the screenplay for Frozen, Lee was asked to co-direct the film with Chris Buck, an industry first. No writer had ever directed a major animation before. I literally did the very classic, you know, I did not expect that at all. It's the same, it has the same feel as... Lee also became Disney Animation's first female director. How about everybody make a wish? Why is it taking so long? <laughs> I know, there should be more. <laughs> There's a need, there's definitely need. In last year's top grossing films, women made up only 6% of directors and 10% of writers. On screen, the numbers weren't much better. Only 29% of major characters were female roles. Who marries a man she just met? It's true love! Whoa! That makes Frozen's Whoa. female lineup a Hollywood rarity. Born ready, yes. Calm down. But not a risk. Frozen is the second highest grossing animated film in history. And Lee is the first female director to surpass a billion dollars at the box office. What I've heard a lot in the industry is it's, it's boys that drive the, the, the movie going. And what I think we keep showing again and again is it's not that, it's everyone drives it. And I think that gives us a greater opportunity to do more dynamic characters that are male and female. Elsa? Lee says her team wanted to avoid fairy tale stereotypes like good sister versus bad sister. We said, what if Anna represents love and Elsa represents fear? And once we did that, we found the story very fast. Love will thaw. Love. Of course. But they are princesses. <laughs> right, they are. It is a movie, of course. But the debate about, you know, why are all the characters that my daughters look up to all princesses? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Do you but, ask yourself that question? I mean, I was one of those girls, and I grew up, Cinderella was, um, meant so much to me. It was my first Disney film. And she kind of taught me, you know, dare to dream. We're just at a different time, and so these girls, are very different from Cinderella. Their, their wants and goals and dreams are much more, I think, contemporary. And I think you'll keep seeing that shift. Mm -hmm. A shift in the story, and hopefully, says Lee, the story tellers. We need more women uh, in creative leadership. We just do. So if it inspires anyone to say, well, I can do that, or just casually think there's no reason I can't, I mean, then great. Let's keep talking about it until there's the day where we don't have to. You know, what's remarkable about this film's success, and Jennifer Lee is the first woman director, too, is that song, Let It yeah, Go, yeah. with female characters. They're little boys, including, you know, people who work here, their boys are singing this song all the time. It's a really yeah. popular film. Why is animated films so popular? You make a lot of money. A lot of money, indeed. I think it's the writing. Yeah.